Hi, I'm Nay Weaver, Director of Product Marketing at Thawspot, and today I'm going to explore and analyze health indicator data to discover key drivers behind life expectancy. Here at Thawspot, we believe analytics should be as easy as using your favorite apps. Just like you use Google to search the web or YouTube to search for videos, Thawspot allows non-technical business users to search for insights across their enterprise data. As I log into my smart homepage, all the content is personalized to help me better understand how governments and businesses can improve population health. I can easily see the key metrics I'm following, what my team is working on, new content being created, as well as auto-generated insights to questions I may not have even thought to ask. Let's start by looking at our population health pin board. I'll use presentation mode to explore life expectancy trends by country. Although we see some rises and dips, for the most part, life expectancy is trending up across the board. I'll quickly point out Spain as the leader and the United States as the laggard. Next, let's look at life expectancy by gender. As you may already know, women generally live longer than men. What I'll point out here is the difference by country. Where Australia has a gender gap of about 3.8 years, women in Portugal live almost 6.2 years longer than men on average. And finally, let's examine life expectancy and per capita government expenditure on health. Intuitively, it makes sense the more government spends on health care, the better the health of the population. Interestingly enough, this does not appear to be the case. Although the United States spends almost the same as Norway, we live on average 79 years, and Norway is just over three years longer at 82 years. For further contrast, Spain spends only half of what the United States does, yet they live almost four years longer on average. So far, we've been exploring a pre-built pin board. Now let's look at how easy it is to ask a question and let ThoughtSpot generate an answer in the form of a best fit visualization. In this example, I'll use the search bar to ask what is the average life expectancy by country and yearly to see that on a trend line. Just like that, I've created my first visual that can now be added to our Gartner pin board. So we can see that life expectancy is trending up, but let's say we want to know by how much. The easiest way to see year-over-year -year growth is by using our built-in keywords that help guide end users to find the answers they're looking for. So I can simply ask, growth of life expectancy by year. And without having to calculate anything, I can see that life expectancy is growing half a percent every year, totaling about 4.5% growth over 16 years. Let's add that to our pin board as well. Okay, so we've explored life expectancy by country as well as year-over-year -year growth. Now let's look at it broken down by gender. I'll search life expectancy for males and life expectancy for females, and I'll add the yearly keyword to see that on a trend line. But what if we want to see the actual variance between male and female life expectancy per year? To do that, let's create a custom calculation. Using our formula editor, I'll create a variance calculation by looking at the average difference between male and females. As you can see, this is also a guided experience. So although both sexes are living longer, we can see the gap was 5.6 years and now has narrowed down to 4.3 years. Let's pin that as well. In less than two minutes, we've asked and answered our own questions using search, and we now have a new pin board that we can share with other users. ThoughtSpot has a variety of ways to ingest and work with data. First is simply uploading CSV or Excel files via the data import wizard. This simple three-step process allows me to select my files and change column names or data types as needed. I can choose to search or join this new data with existing schemas already in ThoughtSpot. Using Dataflow, 
You can load dozens of popular databases, data warehouses, file systems, and business applications. Data flow is the easiest way to ingest data into ThoughtSpot with options to select specific columns within tables, map those tables into existing schemas, and set schedules for incremental updates. With Embrace, our live connections for in-database query, users can search data stored in your data warehouse without having to move any data. Popular connectors include Snowflake, Redshift, BigQuery, Azure Snaps, Teradata, and SAP HANA. Much like Dataflow, you can preview tables and select only the data needed for search. And lastly, many customers simply reuse their existing ETL packages to load data directly into ThoughtSpot using our bulk load API. Once data is connected, tables can be combined into worksheets, which allow us to enhance the data for search, such as adding synonyms for multiple search terms, creating calculated measures, or formatting such as currency. Worksheets also allow the option to modify or add relationships between tables, including complex schemas like many-to-many -many joins across multiple fact tables. Let's assume the Surgeon General asks for a scheduled report or alerts on life expectancies that drop by a certain percentage. For any users that do not have direct access to ThoughtSpot, we have a variety of ways to share this information. To start, we can simply download any content, including full pin boards, to PDF with options to select our desired layout. We can also schedule PDFs to be sent on an automated basis, shared directly via email. For users with access via browser or mobile device, Follow makes it easy to monitor KPIs across multiple pin boards. Although I could continue to dig into the data by asking additional questions or perhaps continue to build a story for presentation, sometimes I need help finding the key drivers hidden inside our data. Spot IQ uses the power of AI and machine learning algorithms to uncover personalized insights. Since ThoughtSpot was built for speed at scale, Spot IQ can run thousands of queries on billions of rows of data and execute dozens of insight detection algorithms in seconds, returning relevant interesting insights to questions I haven't even thought to ask. We've been looking at the did you know section on our homepage, but now let's look at the example I showed earlier where we searched life expectancy by gender. Under each answer, SpotIQ returns relevant insights specific to the question that was asked. In this example, it found that in 2016, men in the United States lived 5% shorter lives than all other countries. It has called this out by automatically determining the average by country, then using standard deviation showing us that the United States is significantly lower than the average. Spot IQ is pervasive across the entire experience. Moving back to our life expectancy pin board, Spot IQ has also surfaced five personalized insights specific to the data on this pin board alone. In just a few minutes, I've shown how ThoughtSpot enables non-technical end users to ask and answer their own questions. We've connected to data and built dashboards for others to consume. Now I'd like to focus on a new feature that helps enable data fluency and increase user adoption. With Answer Explorer, end users can dive deeper into insights by applying filters, adding attributes, and more. With a simple click, you can let intelligent machine learning lead the way by suggesting what question to ask next. Instead of being presented with a static visualization, you can filter results or leverage AI-driven insights that learn from your search history to provide personalized filters. You can also add attributes and compare values to get the precise answer you're looking for, all within an intuitive UI that provides relevant one-click suggestions. And with that, I hope you've seen how anyone can use search to analyze data and get automated insights in seconds using ThoughtSpot.